Let's take a look at how we might find the distance between two coordinates on a Cartesian plane. Let's say I wanted to find the distance between these two coordinates, the coordinate 2, 4 and the coordinate 6, 7. What that's saying is I want to find the distance of the line that connects between these two coordinates. This being a perfectly straight line, not that I've drawn that quite straight here. Now to do this, we actually draw from Pythagoras' theorem in that we look at this in terms of the x-plane, so that horizontal plane, and the vertical plane, which is our y-plane. Now if I considered our x-plane for a moment, what we can break down here, just along this section in here, is the x-step that it would take to get to the same coordinate in our x-value over here. And I could also do that with my y value. So I could consider the y step along here. And what I've now I've just formed here is this right angle triangle that exists with our distance being the hypotenuse. So if I can work out how far my x step is and how far my y step is, I can actually use Pythagoras theorem to work out the distance of the hypotenuse. Now, because we've graphed this, we can actually just count the steps. So we're starting at four in our y direction, and to get to seven, we'd have to go to five, then to six, then to seven. So our y step is essentially three here. And our x step, well, we're starting at two, and we're finishing at six. So that'd be two to three, to four, to five, to six. So our x step here is equal to those one, two, three, four steps. And now what we can do is we can use Pythagoras theorem to find this longest side. So Pythagoras theorem says that the longest side here is going to be equal to the square root of our x step squared plus our y step squared. Now our x step is equal to 4, so it's going to be our x step squared, so our 4 squared, and then our y step squared, so our y step was 3, so we're going to add on 3 squared. And now we can just put this into a calculator if I wanted. But let's just solve this. So this will be equal to the square root of 4 squared, which is 16. And then add our 3 squared of 9. Now 16 plus 9 will equal 25 and the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So we've found that the distance between these two coordinates is 5 units. But in mathematics, we want to look for ways that we can do this where we might be able to do it without needing a graph, but also how to find solutions that might be irrational, which might be difficult to be able to work out what the x step and y step are if we were just using the graph itself. So let's consider these two coordinates, the coordinates 2, 4, and the coordinate 6, 7. What we want to do is we want to break these coordinates down into their x values and their y values. So if I labeled this for a moment, let's label my x values. So my x values was this 2 here, which I'm just going to call x1 and this 6 here, which I'm going to call x2. And our y values, we can do the same for. We can call this 4 value our y1, and this 7 value our y2. Now, what we're essentially doing here when we're looking at our x step is we're looking for the difference between our x values, so the difference between 6 and 2. Now, to find the difference of something, we need to subtract them. So what we can essentially say for the, uh, the x step squared, we can say that our x step squared is going to be the difference between x2 and x1 squared. The difference being x2 take x1 and squaring it. And now we can do the same thing for our y step. So we're adding these together. So the difference between our y value is going to be this y2 subtract our y1. So here it'll be our y2 subtract our y1 and squaring that. 
And what we've now got here is a formula that can be used to find the distance between any two sets of coordinates, no matter what those coordinates are. So what we do with any formula is we substitute our values into the formula. So let's do that now. When we substitute it, we're going to have our x2 value, which is 6. So it'll be 6. Subtract our x1 of 2. And that'll be squared. And we'll add that together with our y step. And to find the y step, it's our y2 value of 7. Subtracting our y1 value of 4. And we're squaring that. Now when we do that, this is going to be equal to our 6 take 2 is 4, so it'll be 4 squared. And we're adding that with 7 take 4, which is 3, and we're squaring that. Now 4 squared is going to be equal to 16. And we're adding that with 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Now 16 plus 9 is equal to 25, and when we do the square root of 25, it'll equal 5 units in length. So what's important here is our distance formula actually comes from Pythagoras' theorem, and we form this right angle triangle between our two coordinates by considering the distance of our x step and the distance of our y step. Now to do that, we can use this distance formula that I've just indicated here to find the distance between any two sets of coordinates.